What's up guys, welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to the kitchen and welcome to a new style of video. Tonight we're gonna to do a catch and cook on a flounder that Corey caught today. Uh, we were making a great flounder fishing video, guys, to back up some of the information we've done in some of our how-tos. Luck would have it, we had audio issues, we had camera issues, we had all the issues in the world, but we do have some footage of Corey catching this awesome 17 inch flounder. We're gonna show it to you right now and then we're gonna get into doing a stuffed, seafood stuffed baked flounder. Guys, y'all check out Corey catching this flounder real quick. What's up YouTube and welcome back to see you out there. Brad and I are on the Red Rocket today and of course we're going to do a little flounder fishing. Uh, if you've seen Brad's last two videos he put out a how to tie a tandem rig and also how to fish a flounder. So we're going to put these uh, videos to use and hopefully put a couple flatties on the boat. Uh, and also I think we're going to keep them today. We've been pretty good about releasing our fish, but uh, we went to go eat dinner the other night when Brad sent Brad to the cooler and he said we only have one more bag of frozen fish left. So. We definitely need to keep some fish today. So we'll see you out there. Got one in the boat, guys. We've been at it for quite a while today. All right, guys, as you guys seen, again, Corey put a spank down on me. We're so thankful, we're so fortunate that that piece of footage stayed from the day, guys. We bounced around everywhere to catch flounder. We had a blast. We just, we had one of those days when you're into filming, you lose a lot of footage, but luckily, luckily that one stayed for us. So what we're gonna do first, before we go into making this homemade seafood stuffing, is I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet a flounder and get him ready for stuffing. So this guy, I scaled him outside so I didn't mess up Corey's kitchen and catch a left hook. So he is scaled and ready, but now I'm gonna show you how to prep him to get ready for stuffing, guys. So if you take, check this out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right behind his head. We're going to take his head off and then we're going to lay him open. All right, so we've got his head open. What we're going to do next is if you look, you'll see this lateral line. That lateral line gives you the exact place you need to cut. So if you'll take your knife and go right down that lateral line, that joker is ready to split. Then you can just take him, lay your fillet knife over and follow the backbone like you would cleaning any other fish. Just follow it down. Good, sharp, flexible knife. And just keep flaying it open. Get it all the way to the end, and then just don't poke all the way through. Don't take the fillet off like you normally would. All we're doing is creating this pocket that we can stuff full of seafood. Same thing the other side, guys. Find his little hump in his backbone. Take him all the way down. Nice and easy, just follow the, ri follow the ribs. All right, guys, continue following him down. Remember, don't poke through here. We want to keep this little pocket safe. So now we've got this perfect little pocket that we can stuff full of stuffing. We're going to cut the guts out, and we're going to clean the insides up, and then we're going to season this, and we're going to stuff this full of our homemade seafood stuffing to make our stuffed flounder.
Guys, while I get this guy all dried up and ready to start making his stuffing, y'all check out this footage. We got stopped by the Coast Guard uh, and inspected while we were out there chasing these guys down. Some of the nicest, most polite, respectful Coast Guard guys we've ever met. Uh, thank you guys for what you guys do and we appreciate it. Here's a quick clip of us uh, getting pulled over by the Coast Guard over in Gallison Bay. y'all so we got some oil on the stove right now it's sizzling we got it sizzling at like a medium medium heat and uh, we have one purple onion all chopped up so we're gonna add that in there um, I like using the purple onion I say I like using a purple onion for this I've never made it before but I feel like a purple onion would be better than the white or yellow onion because it's just a tad bit sweeter so I'm gonna add that in here see all righty Martha Stewart makes this look so easy and good okay now we're gonna add two jalapenos we're gonna add this did you say jalapenos did I <laughs> jalapenos I don't know how to say it proper we're gonna add these jalapenos in there and then we have five cloves of garlic that Brad chopped up we're gonna put that in there too. We're gonna mix it up and let it sizzle. We're gonna cook it down so it's nice and brown and crispy and then we're gonna add some more ingredients. Let's see. You can add whatever you want to this. These are just some of our favorite ingredients. Y'all, I just add a little bit of blackened powder to this. Just to give it a little kick, a little flavor. Um, this is what I used right here. Alrighty y'all, now it's time to add the seafood. So we have a little bit of swimps right here. We're gonna add this to our fun little vegetable mixture. How much shrimp you got there? Uh, I don't know, you put it in the bowl. A pound. A pound, okay, so we put a pound of shrimp in here. We like a lot of seafood. And then, uh, is this a, oops, a pound of scallops too? Yes. Should I drain the, the fluid? It's fine, throw it in there. Okay, we're, we're throwing it all in there. So we're gonna add our seafood to the vegetable mixture. And uh, y'all, as I'm mixing this up, let me remind y'all that we have a fun little challenge coming up. Brad and I teamed up with RX Angler and MDLR Fishing, and we challenged some Florida YouTubers to uh, a couple fishing challenges, and we, we haven't decided on what those challenges are yet. We'll let uh, the Florida guys come up with the first challenge. But um, those channels in Florida that we're gonna be uh, competing against are uh, Bama Beach Bum and Bearded Brad and uh, Brant and Cameraman Ron. So we're really excited to see what they come up with for our first challenge. Alrighty, so here we go. This is what it looks like when you mix it up. We'll let that cook for a little bit. I'll leave it alone. Alright guys, so Corey got everything ready for us. She did an awesome job getting all the vegetables cooked down, the shrimp and scallops in here. You remember she asked if I wanted her to drain the scallops off. The reason I didn't want to is we're going to use the juice. We're going to use the natural fluid that came out of the shrimp, the scallops, and the vegetables to cook our stuffing. So we're going to add vegetable broth to it as we need, but we want to use that natural fluid, the natural juices that come off our seafood and our vegetables to cook the, the uh, stuffing. So what I have is just some cheap store brand um, stuffing, like stovetop stuffing. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to add it directly to our shrimp, our scallops, and our vegetables that we've been seasoning with our magic uh, blackening powder. So we're just going to add this in here, whole bag, and then we're going to mix it around and let it soak up all that beautiful juice that came off the seafood. And then we're going to take this and we're going to stuff that awesome flounder with it. So as you can see, there's plenty of fluid in the mixture that we've cooked. So we may not need but just a little bit of vegetable broth to help with this. It's already been seasoned with that nice blackening powder. Stay with that kind of spicy theme that we want our stuffed flounder to have. And you can see that looks really nice. So I'm going to add just a splash a vegetable broth here just to kind of help flavor you can use chicken stock you can use beef stock you can use bone stock whatever you've got handy it doesn't matter you can use water if that's all you've got 
And we're going to let that cook down and let everything get together real good. And then we're going to take it and we're going to stuff it in that flounder and we're going to throw them in the oven. The oven's going to be at 400 degrees and it's going to take about 20, 25 minutes. Our stuffing's already done. Our shrimp are already cooked. Our scallops are about 80% cooked through. The only thing that this is going to do in the oven is cook that flounder down and make it fall off the bone good. So let's let this cook together just for a second and then we'll throw it in the oven. Okay. All right, guys, the stuffing is cooked down. This stuff is awesome, guys. I'm gonna do a little taste test. So we just cooked this down, not all the way to flaky because we're gonna stuff it inside the flounder. But this is red onion, jalapeno, garlic, vegetable broth, scallops, shrimp. My God, oh man. That is freaking good. Try this baby before we stuff that flounder. Hand me the camera. Let me eat that little scallop. Mm -hmm. He little face. Guys, we're gonna let Core try this real quick before we stick it in that flounder and put it in the oven. This is the best part of stuffed flounders, the stuffing. Ooh, it smells good. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. so good, isn't it? Mm. Uh. It's like home cooking. Like, oh. really good. All right, here you go. Yeah. Switch with me. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our stuffing we're going to stuff our flounder. This is the fun part. So all we're going to do is we're going to move our puppies. We're going to get a big scoop. We're going to open up that pocket we made. And we're going to start filling this guy up. We've already got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. We just got to get our flounder stuffed and ready to go. We've done this on the big green egg before, guys, and we plan on doing that tonight, but it is storming here in Texas, here in Santa Fe and the south part of Houston. So we're going to do it in the oven tonight. We're going to cheat. But look at that. Stuff that thing nice and full. And then what we're going to do now that he's nice and full is we're going to rub him down with a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to season with a little more of that blackening seasoning, and then we're going to get him ready for the oven. Now is I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. I've already oiled this pan, so it's already oiled on the bottom to keep it from sticking. I want to put a little bit of oil on the skin to help this skin crisp up. A little bit on the tail, a little bit on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this Captain Chef Paul Burdone's Redfish Magic, and I'm going to hit this on top with it. This is what we've seasoned our mix with. This is what we've seasoned everything with. We're just going to hook him up a little bit, give him a little nice spicy crust, and then we're going to throw it in the oven. All right, ready, babe? All right, here we go. 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. We're going to get bug out of the way. Come on, bug. 400 degrees. We're going to throw it in the oven, guys. And we're going to come back and check on it in about 25 minutes. We're going to have seafood stuffed flounder caught here on the Texas coast. Yup. Yeah. All right, guys. It, things been in here for 20 minutes. Let's pull the flounder out. Give it a taste test and see how it looks. Oh man. Red onion, jalapenos, fresh garlic, stuffing shoved inside of our beautiful flounder, baked for 20 minutes at 400 degrees, guys. It doesn't get any prettier than that. Let's do a quick taste test on this guy. Then Corey and I are gonna sit down and enjoy dinner and uh, get ready to get this video ready for you guys. Cut all that mumbling up. All right, go. I got to taste it now? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Y'all, this is my favorite. I love, love, love flounder. And when you add stuffing to it, mmm. I don't even know why we do turkeys for Thanksgiving. We just need a stuffed flounder, and this should be our, our turkey, Thanksgiving turkey. It is hot. Y'all see that steam coming off of it? Hold on. Oh my God. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full, but that is so freaking good. That is delicious. It's not like super fishy, but you can tell that you're eating 
a flounder, a fish, and then the seafood stuffing on it, it's sweet. It was like, it's like almost eating a dessert. I don't know, it's so sweet. It's good. Brad, you need to try this. It is good. All right, guys, quick try. A little bit of flounder with that nice Louisiana spice, that blackening sauce on it. A couple scallops. We rubbed it down with olive oil to make it crispy. That olive oil helped crisp that skin up a little bit. The flounder's done perfect. A little spice from the blackening seasoning. That stuffing, we knew that was money to start with. Yeah, I'm with you. That's good. That's a dang good call. That is fine, guys. We're going to make a plate. We're going to sit down and eat dinner. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We tried a little something different, a little different formatting. We lost a bunch of our footage from the fishing day, so we wanted to try something different. We actually stole this style of video from Blue Gabe. When he does this, Catching Cooks is how he does it. We love how he formats his videos, so we actually kind of robbed something from him and Kelly. We'll see if it works, see what you guys think about it. Uh, don't forget, we do have a challenge coming up. Me and Mark from MDLR and RX Angler, uh, we've talked to Brant, we've talked to the clickbaiters there. They've accepted the challenge not formally yet. Uh, they're working on a new video where they accept the challenge formally and they send uh, the first challenge back to us. So the Desperados versus Clickbaiters videos are going to happen. Uh, it takes time when you got nine guys that all have individual channels to try to produce a challenge video and a response video. So it's coming. Uh, you guys all ease over to Clickbaiters channel. Go see Brant. Go see Bama Beach Bum. Go see Bearded Brad. See Cameraman Ron. Tell them hi. Tell them we sent you. Talk a little trash if you want to. If you don't know their channels, which I doubt very seriously, y'all don't know it, y'all give them a follow and uh, view their videos. They've got some great content over there in Florida, guys. Same thing with MDLR and RX. I know y'all know those guys, but if by some chance you don't know them, y'all ease over, check them out, and tell them that we sent you. Uh, we'd much appreciate it, guys. We really think y'all are going to enjoy the challenge videos we've got coming out in the future. Uh, we've got some challenge videos with some local guys. Uh, fishing trips for now. We're fishing with him. We've reached out to a bunch of the Houston YouTubers. We're going to start doing some challenge videos over the winter, which should be a lot of fun. Yes. What do you think, say? Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, y'all. Once again, thank you, Coast Guard. It was fun seeing y'all. Thanks for pulling us over. Y'all recognized our boat, and it was fun chatting with you. That was kind of cool, guys. We got pulled over because the Coast Guard guys recognized us. Uh, they went through their procedure. They checked the boat. It was very cool. It was very fun to see how professional they are and good at their jobs. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate everything. We're nearing 3,000 subscribers. I know we talk about it. We talk about it every video, but we're growing leaps and bounds, guys. We're having a blast doing this. We appreciate everything. Couldn't do it without you. We love y'all's comments. Oh my gosh, y'all crack us up with all the comments that y'all leave. Y'all are so sweet. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. And as usual, we'll see you out there. Woo! Woo!